Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tyler. Thank you so much for checking out this video. As you could probably tell from the thumbnail, I'm going to be pruning my fiddle leaf fig tree. Now, I did get this a month or so ago, and I did remove some of the dead foliage from the bottom immediately, but I need to give it some shape, and I'll also be sharing some crucial care tips in this video as well. The ficus lyrata, commonly known as the fiddle leaf fig tree right here behind me, gets its name from its large fiddle shaped leaves. This indoor plant has quickly become a favorite of mine because of the foliage and because of the sheer size they can grow. I find this to make a huge beautiful impact on any space. On a recent trip to a local nursery, I saw a fiddle leaf fig tree this size selling for approximately $200. I bought this guy a month or so ago at my local Costco for about $39. So you can see there's quite a large price differential there. And if you saw my Monstera video, uh, I explained in that video that just buyer beware, you can find these awesome beautiful plants at your big box stores for a fraction of the price that they sell sometimes at local nurseries. Now, when it comes to pruning your fiddle leaf fig tree, there are about three things that you're gonna really wanna keep in mind. The first is obviously the overall health and well-being of the plant. The second are the individual leaves that you may be pruning away. And third is the overall desired shape that you're trying to create. Now, you're obviously gonna wanna pick up a really good pair of sharp pruning shears. I got these on Amazon and I really like them, uh, so I can throw up the link in the description if you're interested. Um, so like I said, for me, the desired shape that I would like to create is create a taller stem and have the foliage kind of expand over time at the top, creating more of a sort of traditional sort of tree look. Um, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, when you are pruning the leaves, it's important that you get as close to the stem as possible. Um, and in one fellow swoop, uh, you can get rid of that leaf. Um, now, these plants do have sort of like a sappy material to them, so you are going to be, you know, it's good to be aware of that um, when you're pruning it. So, I'm going to get rid of these guys here, and I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but these plants are native to uh, the lower tropical forests of West Africa. Um, that's where they grow natively, um, and in the right conditions, these plants uh, can do really, really well and grow quite tall. Like I said, this guy's over uh, six feet tall. Um, now you are gonna wanna let the root system completely dry out before you rewater it. You can test by inserting your finger in the top few inches of the soil to make sure that it's dry before you water it again. Um, when it comes to feeding it, uh, you are gonna wanna use a plant food in the growing season, in the summer months. Uh, I feed this guy every other week. Uh, in the non-growing season, you're probably going to want to feed it just once a month. Um, and when it comes to light, these guys do best in bright and direct light. That's usually in a south-facing room, a meter or two away from your window. Uh, you don't want to sort of soak it in any direct sunlight for too, too long. Uh, they just don't like that. Um, so you can see I have this kind of other branch extending um, off, which is great for some fullness and thickness but I still have a few that I think I'm going to get rid of here. All right. Another guy here. All right, there we go. Lost that. And just kind of take a look at how it's looking now. And I think I still want to get rid of some of this foliage here as well. So I'm gonna continue on pruning some of these leaves. How does that look? So I've pruned about nine leaves from the tree and I feel like I'm a lot closer to the desired sort of shape that I'm trying to create. Like I said, I have this more longer, elongated 
uh, stem with uh, you know a broad sort of wide foliage at the top so I'm really happy with how this is looking at the moment um, a few other pro tips uh, so I did mention the sap you can see that it's already starting to ooze some sap so that's just something you're going to want to keep in mind um, just to keep things nice and tidy uh, and another really interesting thing so I don't know if you can tell but I've actually kept this in the original pot that uh, I purchased it in. So it is recommended that you repot this plant every year. Uh, now the reason that I've kept this in the original pot is that I'm moving in the next month or so and I'm going to repot it into probably a larger pot than this, but that can really help the plant grow and live its healthiest life. So that's something that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. Now, I am a self-described plant-loving plant daddy, this being just one of my babies. Now, this is only my second plant video. I did do a video on the Monstera, but I really look forward to bringing a lot more uh, indoor plant content to my YouTube channel and sharing my indoor garden and really uh, sharing some amazing indoor plant and indoor planting tips with you guys. So if you are interested in that, Please subscribe to my channel, it means so much to me, and don't forget to give it a thumbs, thumbs up. If you're interested in similar content to this, you can head to my channel. Thank you so much, that's it for this video, until the next one.